Today we're going to show you how to program an EasySet logic timer by Orbit. EasySet logic timers, as the name implies, are very simple to operate. In this example, we've already hooked up our power cord and our sprinkler wire that goes to our zone valves. One of the additional benefits of the EasySet logic timer is the swing panel. The swing panel allows easy access to the wiring terminals and easy connections for your sprinkler wires. With your timer all hooked up, you're ready to program. To program an easy set logic timer, it's very simple. Turn the dial counterclockwise through each position to set up the timer. We'll go ahead and get started with turning the dial to the set clock position. After you've turned it to the set clock position, press the plus or the minus button to change the time up or down. If you hold the plus or the minus button, it will go more quickly to the hour of the day that you need. Once you've got that set, turn the dial to set date. The first thing you'll see is the year. Enter the year and then press the right arrow. You can also press the left arrow to go back. After you've got the year, you'll set the month. Press the right arrow again and then you'll set the date. After you've got the date set up, turn the dial to start time. To enter your start time, press the plus or the minus button and hold it down until you get to the desired time to start your sprinklers. Please note, when you're setting up your start time, only one start time is needed to run all of the stations in your yard. If more start times are entered, your sprinklers will run multiple times. This is helpful to run your sprinklers multiple times if you live in an area with heavy clay soil or sloped areas where you need to run your sprinklers for shorter time periods and run them multiple times. For most people, one start time is generally okay. Also note, if you've run your sprinklers with an automatic program and they run again and you didn't want them to, you probably have more than one start time set up in your sprinkler timer. To enter additional start times, you can press the right arrow to go to start time 2. And again, you can enter up to four start times. We'll just enter one start time in this example. Next, turn the dial counterclockwise to run time. In the top left corner, it indicates which station you're setting a time for. We'll enter some time for station one, and you can press the right arrow to go to station two. Repeat this process of pressing the plus or minus button to get the desired time for each station until you've set up a run time for each station. Next, turn the dial to the how often position. This is what days of the week you will set it up to water or what interval you'll set it to water. Along the bottom of the screen, you'll see the days of the week, the letters INT, meaning interval, and then odd and even for those that are watering on odd or even calendar days. We'll set up to run on specific days of the week. You can press the right or the left arrow to get the flashing day When you've got it to the day you want it, press the enter button. You'll see a box appear around the day you want it to water. At this point, your timer is programmed and you can turn the dial back to the auto position. We set this timer on the A program. If you have different areas of your yard that have different water requirements, for example, all lawn areas should be grouped together. However, if you have a flower bed or a garden, those have generally different watering requirements and be sh should be set up on a different schedule. To accomplish this, you can go back through to the start time position. In your LCD, you'll see Program A in the top right corner of the LCD. If you would like to set it up in, an, in a separate program, you can press the Program button and it will take you to Program B. At this point, you can repeat the process and enter a start time for program B to begin. 
You can also repeat this process for program C as well. If rain is in the forecast or you've received enough water recently that you don't need to water for a certain amount of time, you can press the rain delay button. It will flash 24 hours. If more time is desired, you can press the plus button and it will enter into a rain delay mode. Your LCD at this point will flash between rain delay and the current time. To get out of rain delay mode, simply turn the dial to the off position and then back to auto. Another nice function about the EasySet Logic Timer is the ability to quickly and efficiently run a manual cycle to test your sprinklers or to give it an extra watering. To enter a manual cycle, simply press the manual button. You'll see all in the display. If you press the right arrow, you'll see all of program A. Press it again, you'll see all of program B. Press it again, you'll see all of program C. If you press it one more time, it will go to specific station numbers. At this point, you can enter in a time, and it will start watering the station you've entered. To turn off a manual watering, you can press the clear button. The Orbit EasySet Logic Timer offers professional functionality with everyday simplicity, so you can set it, forget it, and enjoy a healthy yard.